Hello everyone. How are you? It's Kei. So uh, this is the 27th of April 2022 and this is on Wednesday. So uh, today, let me take a video today. Not the live, uh, this is a video and I would like to talk about how I exited my trade from yesterday pound USD that I took it live. If you haven't checked my live trade from yesterday, please do because uh, there is archive. And I explain exactly how I screen charts and how I select the pair to trade and how I entered to break even. So today, I already exited two positions, but uh, let me exactly show you how I did it so that uh, you can learn from my trace. So uh, let me switch the screen right now. Okay, and a quick disclaimer as usual, uh, this content is all based on, only, based on my own experience knowledge. So when you take a trade, please do at your own risk. All right, and since this is a video session, if you can please uh, follow the rules and guidelines on YouTube, that would be great. And uh, finally, um, there are so many fake SNS social medias on my account. So uh, please be, be careful. I only do Twitter, YouTube, and web, web page, and I don't have... I have no Telegram, no Facebook, no Instagram, no direct messages, so please be careful. So uh, yeah, so yesterday I took the trade on uh, pound USD. I sold it at 1.26604. And um, so hold on, let me switch to trading view. Okay, so here is a trading view. Okay, let me fit this to the page. Like this way okay so uh, I took the trade at uh, 1.266 uh, sorry 1.266 uh, three level so it was yeah around this place so let me put the horizontal line 26 uh, yeah 26.604 Precisely, it was all the way up here, 26604 level. I took the trade around this place, and then I moved the break even in the live stream yesterday, and then I just left it. Uh, and when I wake up in the morning, well, actually before I wake up, sorry, um, yeah, I think that was uh, yeah. Hold on, it was this screenshot I took. Uh, so uh, on this one, uh, I fixed, so I take two trades. Every time I take a trade, I took, take two trades, two positions, and one of the positions stop loss, I was placing above the previous high, and the other one, I kept it at the break even. So these were my two stop losses, and this was my sell, and yellow lines are the stop losses, so that if the market even if the market retraces backwards, I will just take profit here. And this was 68.7 pips uh, of fixed profit. And since higher time frames were still going down this way, on the day it was going down still, I kept kept it like this. So uh, when the market retraces, I will just simply exit here. It was my strategy. And I left it. And so usually when I move the stop losses to break even or start to try out like this I simply let it go and uh, come back a couple of hours later so when I come back next time it was like this so my stop loss was here Hold on. my stop loss was uh, uh, over here and uh, so I fixed actually one of the positions with uh, 68 pips of profit and then when I came back to the chart, I saw like this. So I moved the break even stop loss to here to the most recent high in the five minute chart. This is in the five minute. I moved it to here. I fixed the second position 62 pips and kept trading the profit because it was still going down in the higher time frames. And then what happens was after I came back. It looked like this. It looked there was a double bottom here, a neckline break, and the market broke all the way up 
and slightly broke the high. So my stop loss, 62 pips on the second stop loss was here. And this was taken and I, I'm just leaving chart right now. So I have no positions. So one, I fixed 68 pips here. And the second position, I fixed 62 pips here. And these were my trading result of this um, USD pair. So like this, usually I take two positions and I move it to break even and I trial in two different time frames like this. So one, I trial aggressively. The other one, I, I trial in lagging so that I can, uh, even if the one position, the first one hit the stop loss, once the market goes bearish continuously, then the second one doesn't hit the stop and I keep trading on like this way. So this time it went backwards and exited around the same area. But if the market were going down this way continuously, then I would be trading the stop to here and here. And on the second one, I will be running more profits. And this is how I run profits. And this is how I manage the stop losses to run uh, almost like 100 or 200 pips along the way. Because of this, because I take two trades, two stop losses, this becomes possible and my performance gets much, much better than taking one single trade. So that was the result. So uh, hopefully you run some nice pips if you were there on the live stream yesterday, on this pound USD and uh, fix profit, or you might be still running profits, but uh, I hope you success in your trading journey. So, uh, oh, and last announcement is that the uh, in terms of the GTS class, this is where I teach my own strategy like this, multiple time frames and uh, entry edge, entry confirmation, stop loss and exit. I teach this at the GTS. But uh, yeah, right now, July session became full. So the next opening in is in October. So in case if you're interested in October class, please let me know because seats are up to five members in the group. And I still, I already see one member joining in the GTS in October now. So in case, if you're interested, please let me know by uh, contact from, from the below description. So, uh, so that I can guide you uh, what to do to join, to sign up. So, uh, but once again, uh, thank you for watching until the end. And uh, if you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.